So when people with Parkinson's disease go to visit their physicians or neurologists, they often undergo a variety of clinical assessments aimed at understanding how well they're able to move. These assessments are done by having the patient sit in front of their provider, and they would generally walk them through a variety of different movements, including things like tapping your fingers and opening and closing your hands, to be able to assess these through visual observation from their clinician. What we've done in this work is we've used new artificial intelligence technologies to try to leverage computer vision to track these movements automatically using nothing more than common household devices like a smartphone or, or a tablet. We can then take these videos and put them through this artificial intelligence software to be able to track different locations on the body automatically, whether these might be fingertips or the wrist, the whole hand. And then once we are able to track those different key points, we can pull them out of these analyses and make more quantitative and objective assessments of how well someone's able to move these different parts of their body. In this first pilot study that we're presenting at part of the AAP meeting, uh, one of the members in my lab has gone through and done some initial testing to see how accurately we're able to track different movements in people with Parkinson's disease using these artificial intelligence technologies. What I have found is that if she went through and manually labeled every time someone tapped their fingers or every time someone opened and closed their hands, that the artificial intelligence analyses that we performed were able to generate relatively accurate assessments relative to these kind of ground truth manual assessments. The future of this work is to continue to expand these assessments to do things beyond just hand function, to assess uh, different behaviors beyond just the upper extremity, and be able to provide more comprehensive assessments of motor function in persons with Parkinson's disease using these technologies that we can make completely open source and freely available. So in the future, we're looking at incorporating different analyses that test things like walking, balance, and even movements of, of other areas of the body. Uh, we hope you enjoy our presentation. We'll look forward to seeing you at the AAP meeting. Thanks.